All right, Spearheads, we're going to do a quick video on something that I've been asked about quite a bit due to my uh, Instagram account and the photos that I, I put of this on the Instagram account. Um, and there's lots of different versions of it, but um, just like my rifle, there are many like it, but this one is mine. So without further ado, the Altoids Survival Tim. There's a lot of versions of this out there. Everyone's got their own. And Altoids tins are like opinions, if you know what I mean. So let's get started on, on what I've got in mind here. So you can use any kind of tin you want. Um, a lot of people like the Altoids tins. I got this one from another store, just a same size and shape as the Altoids tin. I keep a rubber band around it just to make sure it doesn't open up. But this is always in my pocket whenever I go out into the back country. Um, for the simple fact that if I lose my pack or anything else, I've still got this and everything in it that's going to help me get through what I need to get through. So it just goes in my cargo pocket. I just stuff it in there, button it down, and forget about it. Okay? So here we go. So what I've got in here basically first is uh, I put a little bit of Gorilla Tape around the edges, as you can see, um, just to make sure that it stays shut, creates a little better of a seal uh, so uh this one's actually not configured quite correctly usually i have this p50 p51 or 52 uh can opener underneath all this stuff so it doesn't jingle around so let's just go ahead and do that so usually i'll have this can opener down in here and i'll usually have this stuff kind of stuffed in here so that it doesn't jiggle around today is not the day all right did you get the point so what i've got in here first is uh, up on the top here i've got a signal mirror and i got that from probably bass pro or something like that a little signal mirror probably cost like five bucks or six bucks or something like that i've also got some band-aids of uh, different sizes up in the top there just taped down with scotch tape no big deal Nothing complicated, nothing fancy. Uh, in here, what I've got, I'm going to set this down. Let me give you a good look at it first. So there it is, okay? And normally I can tip this upside down and nothing comes out. Uh, I think that's what I did on my Instagram account. People were like, that's kind of neat. But in here, in these straws, I've got, uh, I think this one is my, I got uh, Imodium and some cotton balls in here to keep the Imodium in place and this is for anti-diarrhea basically in the field the last thing you really want nor need in the field is some um, uh, a bad case of the runs uh, that'll dehydrate you real quick it'll cause you to need more water it'll cause you to lose water um, and so of course when you lose water you get dehydrated when you get dehydrated all kinds of bad things happen so uh, what I did is I took just a straw and I took my set of pliers like so after I cut it, and then I just melted the tip like that. Pretty easy, and I did it on both ends, and now I've got a little um, package where it, basically I, I got uh, some cotton balls in there and some uh, Imodium. So nice little neat little package. And this one, as you can hear it, that's salt. And I in this one I put pink Himalayan salt. Pink Himalayan salt. Uh, is better than your average table salt for a lot of reasons. I won't go into them all here. I think I made a post about it a while back, but you can look it up for yourself. Uh, Google is great. Fantastic, right? GTS, Google that shit. Um, pink Himalayan salt is a lot better than regular iodized table salt for a lot of different reasons. So I put some of that in here, uh, you know, for electrolytes and uh, retain water and be absorb water better, things like that. So I got that in there. Also, you can just put it on food if you just want to season some food up. A little squirrel or something you catch. Also in here, a uh, lighter. And what I've got in this little mini Bic lighter wrapped around it, if you noticed, is tarred bank line. And you can use that for all sorts of stuff, right? Uh, main thing about the Altoids tins is you want to use every bit of space you possibly can for items that have at least one or more, I'm sorry, at least two or more uses. Um, so 
that lighter is great. You can do all sorts of stuff with the lighter and you want that lighter to start fires and things like that. But why not wrap it or wrap some tarred bank line around it. And now you can set snares. Uh, you can make some uh, fishing line. You can do a, do some lashing if you need it. It's just possibilities for some, some line are endless. So I put it around my lighter and now that's in there. The next thing I've got is the Gerber dime. I think this is the dime. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a dime or not, but the mini suspension P. I think this was like 20 bucks. Basically, it gives me a set of pliers. Okay. And what else does it give me? Some little cutters in there if I need it. But also in here, I've got all kinds of little things. I don't want to get into a whole product review on this thing, but it's got all kinds of tools. Um, let's see here. Let's pull some of them out. So I've got a knife. I've got some tweezers if I need them or whatever. It's got a, uh, what is that? A little flathead. And then on this side, I've got a Phillips, looks like. And on this side, a bigger flathead. And let's see, there's a nail file. I think what else is in here? I think that's kind of it. But there you go. So now I've got nail file, flathead, screwdriver, another flathead, tweezers, and of course, a little knife. Okay, a little emergency knife. And of course, the pliers and the, the bucks. So that's good. So that's just another little something you got in there. Useful to have, right? Next is I got a little mini stream light. And let's see if the battery is still good. Yep, there it is. Yep. Little mini stream light in here. And it's good to check your, your kit every so often, make sure your batteries are still working. I've had this little mini stream light in this. Altoids tin now for, man, I don't know, six months at least. Um, and it works pretty good. Okay, this was the pink one I got from Bass Pro. I think proceeds went to support breast cancer or something. So why not, right? Support a good cause. Next thing I got is some Gorilla Tape. Gorilla Tape uh, is, for me, the uh, the smarter, tougher, big brother of duct tape. Uh, all I did was take a piece of straw and cut it the size of the Altoids tin and went, started wrapping some Gorilla Tape around it and it fits now perfectly right in the corner of my Altoids tin. So I got, I don't know how many feet that is, but it's a pretty good amount. So if you had to patch something up and you needed some Gorilla Tape, maybe cover a blister, repair some gear, any, anything of the, anything, uh, you know, can't, what they say, if you can't duck it, you know what? Well, you know, this is Gorilla Tape. So the next thing I got, obviously, now is the can opener. And a can opener is great, you know, because if you got, you know, food you got in your pack or you come across food, if you're in a survival situation, you come across a shelter or some, you know, uh, just a can of food laying out or something like that, you got a way to open it up. Now you don't got to do the whole scraping it on concrete or you know, there's no concrete in the, in the back country, but rocks or whatever. Now you've got an easy way. You also can um, got a fish with this thing. You know, you just take it, you just run it along the, uh, the underbelly of the fish. Uh, you can do all sorts of things with this thing. I don't got to really school you on all that. There's plenty of YouTube videos that show you how to use this thing in more ways than one. Cut paracord, for example. That's one. What else I got in here? A zip tie. Why not, right? Because it's... I mean, I had a little extra space around the edges, so I needed to figure out something to stick around there. Um, I'm probably going to be adding in a um, wire saw, but for now, I got this zip tie in here as well, and that's also good for lashing and for uh, just securing things. If you have a broken strap on your pack or something like that, a zip tie comes in really, really handy. Next, tin foil, And it's a pretty sizable piece of tin foil. Tin foil is cheap. It falls down really small. Um, but I've got a nice chunk of tin foil here, so I can make a a, a windbreak. It's a pretty large sheet. It even folds out bigger than that. 
but I can make a windbreak for my fire. I can make a bowl to catch water or to boil water. I can do all sorts of stuff with tinfoil. I can signal for rescue. I can reflect light. Um, tinfoil is a very, very, very useful thing to have in your kit and your pack. No better place to put it than your little compact mini survival Altoids tin, right? So I got that. Next thing I have in here, and these are all at the bottom, so I'm going to have to show it to you. But I've got a wood saw that I've got from, what is that, Lowe's or Home Depot. I got a DeWalt. This is a metal saw. This is a medium grade metal saw. So if they had to cut through a lock or something like that to uh, get somewhere to where I can find resources and acquire some resources or seek shelter or something like that, I've got both of these in here. You can put those into a, into a stick or a piece of wood and create a handle for those very easily. Um, I've also got the, the battery, um, the keys from the battery compartment for the stream light. Since that's there, just didn't want to lose it. Uh, also in the corners here, I don't know if you can see, but in there, and there, and there, and there, I've got fish hooks. And fish hooks are really handy for all kinds of stuff. And I used to have little rings in here, which I forgot to put back in apparently. That's good that I opened it up. But I used to have little metal rings that I could attach to a bamboo uh, uh, stick and make a, a cane pole uh, by running some fishing line or running the inner strands of 550 cord through that. And it would then have the guide poles just like a fishing pole on a, on a bamboo stick. Um, again, nothing fancy. Um, it's, it works okay, but I had extra space in here and it was a good spot to have that kind of thing. And so I, I put it in, but apparently I forgot to put it back in, which is good that I uh, opened this up. So that's basically what I got in my Altoids survival tin. Um, again, everyone's got their their own version of a survival tin. This one is mine. Um, but uh, feel free to uh, ask me any questions you want about my tin. Uh, if you've got any cool ideas or things that you've added into yours, um, by all means, share them. You know, we always learn from each other, and I'm always anxious to see what you guys are putting in yours. Or if you think that I can possibly squeeze in some other stuff into mine, let me know. So let's put all this stuff back and uh, see if we can't. Get everything back in. Oops, you know what? Gotta put in the. There we go. And then next goes. In. So I put in the, uh, the, the zip tie first, and then I use the duct tape roll to kind of push that into place. Once I get that into place, I can then put in the rest of the stuff. And let me see. Stream light. And then I put that in. You got to be careful sometimes because that zip tie was, I just heard it, it was pushing down the uh, butt for the gas. So I, I didn't want to do that. We put that in a better way. Stuff always requires a little bit of thinking, right? In here. And those in there. So there we go. Now they're staying. Now it's kind of wedged in there, see? So now this stuff doesn't come out, which is what you want. So shut it. And then, of course, that gorilla tape around the edges makes it a little more snug so it's not going to pop open when it's really cool. And I just put a rubber band around this thing because rubber bands are really handy to have on you. And if you had to, you can even use a rubber band as a really makeshift emergency tourniquet. So there you go. That's my uh, breath mint survival tin. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, it's pure survival. Out.